To study Jews of New York meant to study a history I was intimately connected with. My family was from New York, my grandparents were from New York, right? But it was also to study another trajectory that was new, and that was urban history that was developing at that time. And so that was like this perfect merging of the personal, the political, um, the American, the Jewish, um, and it was what led to my first book, which was called At Home in America. My newest project looks at American Jewish photographers and a real cluster of them who appear on the scene in the 1930s and were connected around the, something called the New York Photo League, which was started by a photographer named Sid Grossman. It's a combination sort of club and school who have come to shape especially how Americans look at cities. Not the city of big buildings, not the city of skyscrapers, not the city of gorgeous bridges, but the city of its people. And in all cases, they are fairly intimate portraits. But the portrait is less about the individual than it is about the urban milieu and the possibilities for community or for self-presentation or for performing identity. These men and women help us to come to understand our relationships with other people. And they do it through, through these images, which gives us the invitation to, to stare, to look at someone. Sometimes the person is looking back at you, so there's, in that sense, a kind of an exchange of stares. It's a project designed to open up a new area, in this case, an area of culture, that hasn't really been studied as part of American Jewish history and to connect us with these photographers and to help us see the world as they saw it.